students. My name is Mihaela Periclanu and I am from the Faculty of Civil Engineering from Ovidius University of Constanza and on this occasion I will present a paper prepared in collaboration with my colleagues Periclanu Dan and University Professor Ana Maria Gromescu entitled Restoration and Preservation of the Authentic Traditional Housing Model Case Study the Peasant House in the Danube Delta Area. The paper develops a new concept relatively unique in approaching the concept of rehabilitation of peasant house in the beginning of the 21st century, namely traditional architecture of the Danube Delta as a system of integrated research preservation of cultural and historical values. As it is known, the Vernacular Heritage Charter ratified in 1999 in Mexico draws attention to the fact that vernacular architecture around the world is valuable and requires protection, positive attitude in preserving, preserving and transmitting technologies, materials, architecture combined with authentic, maybe even unique elements. This valuable build found is increasingly is increasingly subjected to the pressure generated by urbanization, globalization, a phenomenon that affects local specificity and lack of information or interest. The vernacular architecture of the Delta area was executed empirically within the community using local materials, techniques, and traditional crafts. The heritage reflected in the built environment of the villages in the Delta belongs to a type of vernacular architecture and, of course, shares the general characteristic of the genre, a close communion with the natural landscape and the society in which it was born. These are the main chapters I am going to approach during my presentation. A few general considerations of Dobroja, a study case with enhance of degradation, the constructive system and some constructive elements specific to the house. When we talk about Dobroja, we are referring to three main areas, North Dobroja, Central Dobroja and South Dobroja. And in the next three slides, I highlighted the main characteristic construction materials used in these areas. We can observe that they are common materials used in all three areas, but in different proportion and with specific names, such as kirpich or chamur, which is adobe, a stone, clay, etc. The paper presents two approaches. High tech, which supports the use of modern materials and advanced technology in construction, and low tech approach, which aims at methods and technique with low impact on the environment. The authors detail the concept of restoration corresponding to the second one, to, tradi to traditional materials and technologies. We chose to present a specific house uh, which is located close to the road, perpendicular to it, with the short side on the street, which has a narrow porch that is partially found also in the facade of the yard. The study will highlight the use of local materials, wood, twigs, reeds, rushes, earth. During the 20th century, other materials were brought, such as stone from Machin Mountains and Casimcha uh, Plateau. This type of house has a space which is usually segmented into yard, animal yard, garden, and household animals. Our case studies, our case study next will present the degradation uh, of uh, the house in question. In the image, you can see the degradation survey for the entire house. The information on specific construction details of the building highlights the following aspects. The building has identity cuts, a replica of composition that combines Turkish tradition with Russian elements. The roof is made of reeds. The facade is painted in bright colors with blue and or green, uh, which has a Slavic connotation. Uh, the decoration on wooden pediments are also of Slavic origin, also the presence of Lijanka, 
and the composition of the structural material. The wall facing north was affected by weather and the presence of uh, stored snow and was not all that was not always removed in time. Rain, also the lack of plastering at the base, uh, all this led to the weakening of the wall in the lower area with loss effect of its own stability. Also, we can observe vertical plane deformation on the axis wall A, but slightly on B also, motivated by the high load of snow uh, driven roof, but also by the loss of quality on the red layer, on the red layer by impregnation with water or mold, etc. The degradation of uh, the roof led to the degradation of the wool wooden of the wooden eaves but also of the floor beams over the ground floor and the carpent uh, and also the deg we can observe the degradation of the carpentry due to the lack of ensuring its protection through painting um, the plasters were also uh, seriously damaged uh, to the base of the structural wall especially uh, washing uh, of the soil both in axis A and B. In axis A there were there were even displacements fact for which the restoration of this part considers the application of the analysis anastylosis procedure. The main uh, data regarding the geometry of the structure from the local materials took into account the planned positioning of the structural walls and their dimension of the solid and hollow spatulas, uh, vertical and horizontal deformability, positioning and dim dimensions in plane and elevation of the caps, doors, windows, um, positioning in plane and elevation of the structural elements that generate um, uh, local yielding of the structural elements, positioning in plan and dimensions of the main wooded floor elements, the weight of the elements structurally corroborated with the lack of foundation. The constructive system specific in the area for this, these types of houses is characterized horizontally by B and three cellular uh, houses and vertically by one level or uh, two level houses, the second one being less common. Uh, this is a compartmentalization plan for our for the house studies, which can observe is characteristic uh, to the area and it's a one level house. A characteristic element of the local uh, Lipovan house is the presence of a completely original heating system called Lijanka. Uh, it is an earthen bed built next to the stove in which is heated uh, due to an engineer's installation. The volume uh, of the house, although simple in composition, is personalized by the space of the porch, delimited by thin painted wooden pillars, which surround the house on one or two sides. Instinctively, the craftsman found unstudied proportion, uh, but which satisfy the eye. Through the intermediate space of the porch, the transition from the outside to the inside is made in a subtle and skillful way, this becoming an element of connection between the outside and the inside. I will highlight some uh, construction elements, uh, some specific uh, data about the construction elements. Um, which characterize these types of buildings. Uh, for example, the, the roof, the roof specific uh, to the delta is the roof with reed coverings made special, uh, especially in two techniques, uh, um, the German method and the Russian method. In uh, the house uh, analyzed, uh, uh, we have also a reed cover roof uh, which uh, has two layers of reed, a long layer around, arranged in an asterial over which the second layer of medium-sized reed is applied. 
This layer has a special technology. It is uniform by beating from the bottom to the ridge. This layer will have a thickness of about 25-30 cm, made by adding successive, successive bundles. The roof ends with a ridge with, uh, and a ridge protection arrangement uh, that's also made of, uh, of ridge. The service life for such a roof system is about uh, 20 years old. Another thing characteristic is the architecture of the house um, and the models that are specific to villages from uh, with uh, Lipovan population and refer to different Slavic uh, myths, although today the inhabitants no longer make any connection with them. And we saw in the picture uh, a few slides uh, before the sun rays and the siren tail, which are element characteristic to, to this. Under construction, important element are the wall, is the wall. And uh, in the area, we have different types of walls made of different materials, such as clay, wood, stone, and bricks. And uh, referring to, to, to our house, the floor above the ground floor has a longitudinal beam on which uh, the ridge beam unloads. Uh, our walls uh, are made the walls of this house are made of uh, chamur and it is placed uh, over the uh, the reed and this whole system forms uh, the attic inside the ceiling is plastered and whitewashed so that the median longitudinal beam remains visible which is in most cases uh, made of poplar wood and uh, less often of fir Another important constructional element is the foundation. Most of the buildings do not have a foundation, like the one studied, in fact, where the structural walls are placed on a layer of sand. At other times, the houses were placed on a stone and sand platform over which was made a bed of beaten earth with a thickness of one, one and a half meters in which the pillars of the resistance structure were embedded so that the building was uh, located at the higher level than the natural ground. The recommended intervention strategy was a minimal variant that was based on improving the mechanical characteristic of the building, on dismantling and restoring degraded areas deformed without changing the structure and functional composition of the building, while maintaining its authenticity, rarity and possibly even uniqueness. The restoration was proposed to be done with original materials and technologies. Uh, in the con conclusion, uh, in the history of Dobroja, we can say there were several periods that can be distinguished. The period before 1878, between 1878 and 1950, after 1950 and after 2000. Regarding all this, uh, we believe that we can discuss specific and traditional housing in the Dobroja area as long as we take into consideration the structural system, the local materials used, the assimilated architecture, including also the house volumes, the materials implementation technologies and tools used uh, specific to the area, but also fingerprints left by ethnic groups that are found or have existed on the territory of Dobroja. Uh, the paper develops uh, the restoration concept um, of peasant houses in the Danube Delta, a uh, concept um, of uh, uh, um, peasant house rehabilitation at the beginning of the 21st century, namely the traditional architecture of the Delta of the Delta as a system of integrated research of preserving cultural historical values of Romanian tradition combined with Slavic, Turkey, uh, Turkish and, As and Asian influences. Thank you very much for your attention.